Hamburg Methodist College just got body cameras, but they have not been installed yet. The Greenville police are getting ready to roll them out as well. But some of what is captured on those cameras may never be released as part of a South Carolina law that passed last year. WIFF News 4's Liz Lohai sat down with the 13th Circuit solicitor to find out why, and she joins us now with more. Liz? Well, Michael and Carol, the Greenville Police Department is using a $93,000 grant to roll out the program. The public will get a chance to weigh in on the final policy, but it will ultimately be up to the chief to decide whether to release that video. This memorializing evidence in a way that is undisputable. A lot of times registration and insurance card. The days of he said, she said may soon be over. More and more law enforcement officers across the country are sporting body cameras. Greenville is advertising its plan to do the same. The city is also looking for public input as it finalizes its policy. But body camera video is excluded from the Freedom of Information Act. It's discretionary, meaning the chief will ultimately decide whether to release it. They worry that police officers will only release that video when it vindicates an officer and not when the officer is in the wrong. How would you respond to that? They would have to articulate why they would not release something or they would come to a, maybe a common ground where maybe media could come view uh, the video, maybe not record it and not release it, but media could come and review it and then report on what they actually see. Jay Bender, an attorney for the South Carolina Press Association says that gives officers too much power. I've referred to the legislation as the cop cover-up bill. But if there's something that calls into question the actions of the police, you'll have to dynamite the doors off the building to get them. Wilkins says he is prepared for the accusations. And I can see it in court right now that says your policy says you have video uh, body cameras. And the answer is yes. And the response is, but you didn't turn it on that day, did you? No, and you didn't want the public to know exactly what was going on, did you? But Wilkins says the officers he knows have no intentions of creating injustice. Now, some justifiable reasons not to release the video, according to Wilkins, are if a juvenile is in the video, if the video has a sexual assault victim on it, or if the video shows the inside of the home of a victim involved in a crime. Liz Lohe, WYFF News 4, live in Greenville.